everyone, it's Danielle Tiara. Thanks for tuning in to Statue of Society. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for instant updates on your favorite celebrity news. Chris Brown became a trending topic just recently after he was compared to Michael Jackson. Now it caused an online debate, so when he appeared on the podcast Drink Champs, he was asked for his take on this situation. I can only like be inspired by him, you know, and, and try to, I don't want to imitate him because his magic is his magic. So me being able to even have that conversation, I'm, I'm flattered, but I'm, I'm also like honest with myself, like, hell no, nah, you ain't fucking better than no Michael Jackson. Hell no. Nah. No, they didn't say better. They said the new. Okay, cool. Well, I ain't gonna say I'm the new. <laughs> So during the versus battle between Mario and Omarion, Mario won because of his vocal skills. Meanwhile, Omarion showcased his dancing skills. He's not going to sit there and sing it out. So that was just not the perfect match, which ultimately made Omarion look like a poor artist overall, which was just simply not true. So a commenter in my comment section wrote, we need a versus redo, Omarion versus Shabawakis. That's it and that's all. So a lot of people have been talking about Chris Brown doing a versus battle and who will be compatible. But actually, Chris Brown was asked this while on the Drink Champs podcast as well. He said that there's no one who can match him, but he did bring up Omarion and gave all his respects to him. Um, as far as what I do, as far as if you say, OK, get out there and sing for two hours, flip, dance and yeah. do all yeah, your songs and then go thing. to the club after right. that and then go do the same thing. Oh, ain't nobody doing it. Omarion, yeah, I love, I love Omarion is cold. Cool. I love when you flow. Mario on his code. Like, so he could do that. But you saying he could, yeah, he's he could, okay. No, nah, he's great. His style is different. I'm be real. Icebox back in the day, touch up with a flame me. Where you, my heart used to be? Yeah, that was the coldest. That nigga was, yeah, that nigga was what? <laughs> he was yeah, crazy. Hey, that boy was bad. Don't play with him. Ew, right that time. Yeah. Yeah. It's but. different now. So for Chris Brown to say that Marianne was his goals and he couldn't even beat him at one point when Amarian had touch and icebox, he claimed that he would not have won against him when it comes to dancing. So that just goes to show that Amarian is a true performer. He's a stage performer. He nailed that and he stuck to it all of his career. Meanwhile, Mario focused on his vocals and stuck to that because his strong point is not dancing. So another commenter wrote, all that talking, y'all ain't finna buy one of the tickets to see Mario, but I bet you Omarion is going to sell out though. And that is just the fact of the matter. All the types surrounding the versus battle around Mario being the greatest and Omarion just being a failure, it's only centered around that night. So let's dive right into this. So J Bug, who is a member of B2K, actually went online just yesterday exposing Omarion, claiming that he actually had assistance with his vocals, claiming that J Bug put his vocals under Omarion's along with other people. I'm not sure why they keep coming for the Beyonce of the group. The fact that the matter is, Omaria is the lead singer of the group and he went solo, successful with both avenues. He won the awards and the payments have been accepted and the fans have been made. So his idea of exposing Omarion was not a great solution because he's still going to be who he is and it's not going to change that. And as a fan, I bought B2K albums and Omarion albums and I went to their concerts and I can confirm that Omarion sounds like the song. Even when he has a shaky voice from dancing, it still sounds overall like the album. Like when the group reunited for the B2K reunion, that only took place because Omarion agreed to do it. Otherwise, there would be nothing for the other members to do. They don't sing, one raps, so Omarion was the leader of the pack and the glue that hold everything together. That's not a biased opinion, that's just a fact of the matter and there's really no other story to tell. So as for singer Mario, he's been out since he was around 14 or 15 years old. He had a few hits. Unfortunately, over time, he just faded away. And unfortunately, he did not reach that level of success as Omarion. Omarion reached a much higher level of popularity. So that's the whole reason why he ends up opening up for Omarion. But Mario is extremely talented and it is unfortunate that he did not reach the level of success that many feel that he should have with his level of talent. But it all comes down to support. Hopefully this time around, he has regained his chance to succeed to a higher level. Now that everyone's fully aware of his talent, hopefully people end up doing something with it by buying his tickets to his shows, listening to his music. I actually stream his music on a daily because 
I just found out that he dropped the album in 2020. I'm finding that out in 2022. So that just goes to show how much marketing that he lacks in his career. So if I don't recommend anything else, I do recommend his Closer to Mars album. That album is fire and it only has five songs. So check it out. My favorite song is called Mars and Closer. Those are just pure gold.